Hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and yes, I am still working on editing together the Dash Arcana tier list as of the time of recording on this video. Don't worry, it should be out soon. Like, I'm hoping, like, within the next day or two. I don't have a ton left to edit, but there's still plenty that's plenty left to get done. But I figured you guys would want something to something to watch and you know talk about in the meantime. So here we go. Hmm. That is player's choice. So we're gonna do a jazz soundtrack fueled fueled run. As for what as for what build I want to do, I'm going to take a quick look through the signatures as that should help give me an idea as to what I want to run. While I was at work, I didn't have a lot of time to think about what I wanted to do for a run, only that one was going to happen. So, we are going to have a quick look, see what looks right for today. One thing did stand out, I'm just not sure I'm going to use it. Gonna keep looking. Yep, we're going with tectonic drill. And that makes me want to do a movement-based run. So I think the choice is clear. We do the hope robe with the drill, and then something else movement-based, and the daggers. Or maybe not the daggers. No, definitely the daggers. So, what do I choose here? I'm thinking either Blazing Vault or Binary Splashdown. One of those two would get the job done quite nicely. <sighs> I apologize if my... <clears throat> Having a drink bother bothers you a bit. I know it's not exactly a sound that everyone wants to hear while I'm doing this. For those of you who are curious, the drink of the day is Zero Sugar Cherry 7-Up. I bring that up, of course, because... Well, I mean, it's there. See, what other movement stuff do we have? Your seismic entry, like I brought up earlier. I'll just charge. Could also be pronounced Aegis, but eh. Hammer of Atlas is also movement. So is Soaring Ivy. What am I working with? The drill? interesting that Soaring Ivy counts. Like, Soaring Ivy counts as a lot of things that I didn't think about. And Hammer of Atlas counts as movement? I'm honestly surprised. These are all things I wasn't aware of. This is not a good run to be doing Tearing Whirlwind with. Some of you might disagree, but I'm sorry. I just... I don't think it's a good idea. Those count as movement, so does Blazing Lariat. Actually, I like that idea. Blazing Lariat. Blazing Lariat, daggers. Um, what do we have here? Like, all of these count as movement, like every single one. Even Chaotic Rift, which doesn't do any damage. There we go. And since we are focusing on movement, let's take these soccer fleets. Now, yes, this does actually have less damage than, or less of a damage upgrade than something like Jade's Jewel Tiara. But I thought it was a good idea to mix it up, do something just a little different. Now, you could say that this might work out a little bit better with the Rule Robe than 
the hope robe. I think hope will be just fine, since we could also get a little bit of a boost from the critical hits upgrade as well. And then a little bit of extra HP and movement speed would just be the cherry on top. Now, you know what would be really amazing? If... If our boy here decided to finally give me the stupid retro floor plan... It's very rude of you, Nox, to... Oh, no, you're not Nox. You're... What's your name again? Oh, no, it is Nox. I'm, here I am second-guessing myself. I'm like, no, that's the name of the... That's the name of the card guy. Surely I can't be wrong about something in a game that I've been playing for hundreds of hours, and... No. No, you just made a mistake. Alright, so now where do I want to start? I'm thinking either with Freya or Atlas. Well, I mean, he just gave me the key there, so that's where I'm going. <sighs> oh, you stupid little zony bastards. Go away. Yeah, and I feel like I've just I feel like I just got kicked around a little too much. Alright. Oh, look at this. We've got things we like here. We've got the Hunter Stiletto, which of course is amazing. We've got the token of health. Again, always amazing. I always, I really like the water cushion. This is gonna be one of those floors where I go, where I end up <clears throat> going through way too much money. Oh my god, I'm so sick of those guys. Yeah, on a very heavily movement-based run like this, having to deal with those with those little zony enemies are going to be the bane of my damn existence. But on the on the positive side, we've got a run that's very that's very heavily heavily based on movement. Which means that it'll be hard for enemies to catch me unless I do something really stupid. This room is going to be a pain. What are you? Conqueror's Cloak. Okay. I could see that being useful. I feel like I'm just getting kicked around. There's really nothing here I want. Correction, there is something here I want. <laughs> Alright, um... Well, you're not movement, but you're not bad either. Alright, so give me Thunderline. Uh, so I am very happy to finally be getting the Dash Arcana tier list underway. And don't worry, it will be coming soon. It's not one of those things where where I'm going, eh, it's coming eventually, don't worry about it. No, it is legit coming soon. Actually, no, I do want this. 
The one thing I'm not super excited about, though, is the backlash I'm going to get for my opinion on Ignition Rush. Because I know it's coming. Which, yeah, I'm also expecting that there's going to be a, be a contingent of people going, Well, if you don't want- if you're not looking forward to the backlash you're gonna get for your opinion on something, just change your opinion for it. And I'm here to tell you that that's not how that works. And for what it's worth, I'm not expecting everyone else to change their minds either, because that's... That's some... That's some really entitled level thinking. It's like... It's like I'm saying, you're not gonna like my opinion, so you should change yours because no one has a right to question me. Like, what the fuck kind of attitude would that be? Who do you think I am, the entitled bastard that didn't flush the toilet before walking out of the stall? Look, I know it's a public restroom, but that doesn't mean that you just leave everyone else to deal with your poop. And if I find out that you're the dirty bastard that's, that leaves your poo for everyone else to deal with, we're gonna have words. So, uh, Dark Sage, are you bringing that up because that's something you had to deal with at work today? No, that's a- that's just a general life observation. That's... that's some disgusting entitled behavior, just making everyone else deal with your... deal with your shit. Seriously. And that's the, it's the sort of behavior that I won't stand for in my company. You either take care of your, literally, your, your duty. You take care of your duty, or there's gonna be, there's gonna be some words being thrown around. Alright, so potions are discounted, that's nice. Not sure how much I actually care about that, but that's nice. here, because I'm betting. Oh, there we go. So we will definitely upgrade Blazing Lariat. Is Earthen Aegis something that I really want? I'm thinking probably not. Over here, I guess I'll take the raw chocolate. I don't know. Oh man, I got up buttons. Ah, damn it! Now I now I got down buttons. Why does my D-pad have to be so sensitive? Well, you know, Dark Sage, you could play with the control stick or mouse and keyboard. Yes, you're right, I could, but I've already trained myself to play in a particular fashion. And having to relearn essentially how best to control the game with a different method would just throw me way off. Two, three, and now it's my turn. Yay! 
Yay! And that's a victory. And then I completely miss, you know, the thing that I'm standing right in front of. Well, if we were speed running, that would have been awesome. Hey, Terra Ring. I might grab that. Is there anything else? Oh, hey, Fadeaway Rhythm. Grab that for sure. And is there anything else here I actually want? Maybe Frost Fan, but let's see what else there is. Plus, we still have Terror Ring there as a freebie. I suppose since it is right there, might as well grab it. So unfortunately, Terra Ring won't be affected by by the whole by by the soccer cleats at all, but that's okay. This is a very earth-heavy run, though, and I do feel like I'm going to get not stonewalled. As funny as that sounds, considering. But I'm going to have. I'm going. I'm probably going to take a couple of like, like a cycle or two extra to deal with shoe than than it normally would. I I was not thinking in that one. Why would you drill into them? You know you're gonna get stopped on their on their macho abs. How dare you? So, with all of these Earth Arcana actually being actually being movement based, it feels kind of weird because. You would assume that Earth would be the element of standing your ground. Not this time. No, this time the Earth moves and it's coming for your ass. I love the mirror shield. It's a beautiful piece of... Hold on. No more Cherry 7-Up. It is a beautiful piece of... Defense of defensive artistry that I really want to pick up, but I already have two really good defensive arcana. Relics. Defensive relics. I swear I know how to talk. I also kind of feel like I don't need the Tears of Midas right now, so, um... Alright, what else is around me? We're at 83% clear rates. I don't need to go clear the rest of the map, real honestly. But, I do want to enter the next floor with a little bit more cash. And I think that will end up working out quite nicely for me. I don't know why, but even though I'm not great with melee-based builds, I just have so much fun with these movement-based builds.
Cup of tea? I'm good. I don't need a tea break just yet. I just finished a 7-up. I don't need tea. Oops. I mean, every now and again, something like that happens where I end up whiffing right past them. Whoa, you're still up? He's crumble. No one cares. No one cares what you have to say, Lancer. No one. As far as this society is concerned, you have you have no rights. Um, hmm. As much as I like Volt Tracer, and when I say that, I mean as much as I would like to experiment with Volt Tracer, I think I am going to hold off on that. I already have Thunderline upgraded, and, you know, spoiler alert, I have a very positive opinion of Thunderline. Just so that we're all on the same page with that one. Burbs! I mean, I don't know. Guess it's an okay backup. See, this is why I like using these, like, heavily heavily movement-based runs, because you get these really cool-looking fights every now and again where the enemies are trying really hard, but they've got nothing. Then you have the... then you have the fights where you just end up attacking the wall, because, you know, you could swear that that brick owed you some money. time was somewhere in the middle. Hey, another token of health? Like, that's weird, but there is the possibility that she will have a relic that I really want, so I'm rolling with it. And, um, you know, if you want to upgrade Ice Daggers, that would be nice, Iris. Just, you know, little hint. No, it's not my birthday, I'm just saying. Just, you know. Oops. On to Shu. He should hopefully not be too much of an issue. I mean, the bosses usually aren't, but, you know, sometimes I make silly mistakes and that comes back to bite me in the butt. You know, like going all offense instead of saying, hey, maybe I should back off and, you know, not take damage. Ugh. Yay! That time getting overly aggressive paid off. No, game, you've already offered me Magma Rush once, and 
Even though I like it, I'm sticking with what I got. You can see the birds are just having a, having a good old time behind me here. Fortunately, the Conqueror's Cloak is doing exactly what I what I picked it up for. So now what we could really use is that Ice Dagger upgrade. Alright, do you have anything that would really help out? Yes, you've got another part of the Hunter's Satchel. And I would like that, but let me see... Let me find Dr. Song first and see what relic she's willing to give me. Oh, that didn't take long. Hello, Doctor. Prescription bottle. Okay, don't really want that, but, you know, it's nice. Alright, so I know what I'm spending my money on. Here, you can have that. I'll take this. Oh, I could have taken a portal. God damn it. Okay, well, you know, we're, we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. And, hey, look, we teleported right here. We definitely did. And that was a very interesting use of the, of the water cushion. But yeah, between that and the cushion flip flops, we're having no problems dealing with dealing with attacks. Owie. How dare you interrupt my signature spell, you jerk. I think I accidentally pressed those two buttons at the same time, so oopsie poopsie. Oh hey, look at that. Alright, now now we're feeling better. I'm well aware that many of you probably have very similar movement-based builds, probably based around Tearing Whirlwind, if the recent trend in my build suggestions is anything to go off of. Now, to be fair, that could just be one person who just really likes tearing whirlwind but from what i can tell it's a pretty popular choice with the rest of with many of you i don't have a problem with tearing whirlwind but i just think it when it comes to making a making a build based around movement arcana you can probably stand to be a little bit more open minded to some other choices Like, for example, have you thought about doing a movement a movement build based around Soaring Ivy?
Like, yeah, it's probably a little simple. And it doesn't rely upon that mechanic of bunching all the enemies up around you, but it's probably also a little bit safer since you're, you know, not bunching all the enemies up around you. You know, just throw it. Just kind of thinking out loud a little bit. Though thinking out loud gets me in trouble sometimes, so maybe I shouldn't do that as much. We got anything fun up here? Oh, hold on, we have a fairy we can adopt. Hey, you know that has to happen. Also, I'm a sucker for sweets. Which is really bad because I'm a diabetic. Now I've mentioned that a few times. I don't. Br I don't keep bringing it up just because I want to hammer it into your face, guys. I have a disease. I have problems. Like you already know, I have problems. I keep bringing it up because I want you guys to understand that. I'm aware that I shouldn't be spending so much of my time on sweets, it's just... It's just kind of my thing. Fortunately, I am being more responsible about it. I'm eating fewer, trying to supplement healthier snacks where I can. Oh, whoops. And it's the... Zero sugar cherry 7-up thing is anything to go off of. I'm clearly not not just having sugary sodas all day long. There we go. I love it. Nope, nothing there nothing else there I want, and what about here? There are things that I like, but I'm gonna stick with what I have. Namely, I'm looking at Tracer Barrage and Erupting Cannonade. Both of those spells are looking pretty sweet, but no. Whoa, it went backwards. Why did it go backwards? Because you just used Fade Away Rhythm and you were facing the... Controller. Do we need to have a talk? Oh, Rainbow Tail. I mean, it literally does nothing, though, so... Eh. It doesn't do nothing if you have the Equestra Cap. Well, yeah, but then it's not the Rainbow Tail, it's the Unicorn Disguise. Owie, owie, owie. See, the other thing that makes these two the easiest boss in the game is that they their attacks take up a lot of time. Does it take up much more... Okay, so actually, no, it's not that their attacks take up... take a lot more time to pull off. It's that while it's happening, one of them is always vulnerable. So yeah, their attacks cover a lot of ground, but does it matter when one of them is always vulnerable during their casting? Like, I think that's one of those things that they didn't think about when they decided they wanted to they wanted to try out to be a part of the Magic Council. Or the Magic Council didn't think about that, because those two have a glaring weakness in their strategy.
All right, do we get anything that's going to make things a little bit better? Well, we've got this to add to the hunter's satchel. More importantly... Hmm... There we go. That's gonna be really effective. By the way, for those of you who are relatively new to my channel and don't understand some of the ways that I do things, to me, the fairies are super important. And no, that's not because I think that they have some great effect that no one else has discovered. I just really like fairies. I, I make no apologies for that. That was not smart. I was like in a trance on that one. I forgot what's what order I, I was casting my spells in. That's really that's really embarrassing. Either way, that was a that was a good run, but I'm still thinking it was a movement-based run with a lot of earth-based stuff. So is this the is this run like a quicksand trap? I gotta work in quicksand in there somewhere, because otherwise it doesn't feel right. Like, maybe this wizard... ...has so many earth-based spells in his repertoire because he's a desert bandit. Does that make sense to you guys? Like, am I trying to characterize this one a little bit too much, even when it's not one of my class videos? Which, yes, another one of those is coming up shortly. Trust me. I don't know. It, I'll work quicksand in there somewhere. It, obviously, you'll see it in the title bef before you even get to this part of the video, and you'll be going, Okay, Dark Sage, we already know what you chose. Why are you still talking about it? Because at this point of the recording, I haven't chosen it yet. A little paradox there for you. So enjoy thinking about your world-ending time paradoxes as you go to sleep tonight. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day or night wherever you may happen to be. I thank you very much for coming and spending some of your free time here with me today. Was that a part of the time paradox, or did you just think you heard those phrases backwards? And I will see you again in the next video. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and you take care, everybody. <laughs>